Hey guys, this is Destroy Topham. And this is part 17 of my Dark Souls playthrough. In this part, I'm heading down even further into the uh, into the Ulusil Township, hoping to take out um, no, hoping to find Seath. Um, Yeah, so, been down here already a few times, so I'm just going to keep going, power through, so in the last part, part I just, uh, Tried getting down all the way. Never had a a great run. Now I'm just being cautious, playing it safe, and uh, hoping that things go okay. Now that I've been down, I know where all the enemies should be. Um, so none of them should catch me out, but this game likes being unpredictable. Don't want any nasty surprises later, so take that guy out. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, so you can see through that doorway over there in the background, my uh, little green flash from where I died previously. Just got to make it back there. Shouldn't be too difficult. I know how to get there now. And I've got this guy stuck on me. Just take this bit slow. And there we go. No significant problems. Humanity gained. If I could get the timing of that spell down, it would be nice. And then I could just roll through it, but... Uh, no point wasting any time. Green shot, I don't think that will come into being any use for me in this play. Um, no intention to have fire upgrade or, um, or low level magic. Or, div oh, divine will come in useful actually. Uh, especially for Nito. I'm just taking out those skeletons. And the skeletons on the way down. There's that one. Oh, two eye. Now to suffer for it. Right, heal up and then power on, I guess. So yeah, I just need to get back up there, jump across. And this area should be done. So that's a sorcerer uh, right there. And I just cannot throw a fireball on it. Should be able to get it from that angle. Okay, cool. Okay, that one just seemed to vanish. Don't know where that went at all. Ah, screw it, just run at it. Switch to combustion and charge. Now I feel, yep, yeah, they're chasing me. Let's 
try and draw that guy. Okay, so this also knows I'm there. Nah, they very know I'm there. Heal up and carry on. Okay, so it looks like one of them's chasing me. It's good. At least I uh, didn't carry on without checking. So last time two came up, this time it's just the one. Okay. And again, just jump off here. Take out this guy. Both of us totally miss. That's great. Cool. More large shards. Oh, thank you. And time to recover. There's still not going to be anything out here. But it's still going to be the way I want to be heading. So I don't see any point in climbing down the ladder. Get stuck on a bit of scenery. Great. No, I'm lucky that didn't hit me, really. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to play it safe, am I? And head back up and then come back down the stairs. So I'm running out of spells to cast, but I'm very close to the... Oh, that guy found me. Very close to where the shortcut is. So there shouldn't be many enemies left around here. Ah, just one. That's great. So what item do we get? Dark Fog. Physical base damage from from a spell, and here we are. The shortcut I've been so eager to get to. I couldn't decide whether to go back down or not. I went back down, and uh, probably doesn't pay off. Especially if you've got two sorcerers here. And you've got to try and take this guy out as quick as possible. Oh, he just gets swarmed. And that's 40,000 souls gone. Is it? Yep, that's gone. 40,000 souls lost. Better try and get back to that. Two humanity as well, but... It's not the end of the world if it goes, because there's uh, no bosses that I really need to level up for, for quite a while. Um, I only really need points for um, probably, um, I can't think of any really, might put more into decks for... Um, For Gwyn, but that's about it. But now I've got the shortcut open, this bit's going to be hopefully quite quick. Hope I can recover. And I think, ah, oh, while I'm here, might as well just kill some more things.
So I've got an idea of what I want to do. Uh, I want to just charge and try and recover first. They've clearly seen me. I'm still in range. And it's nothing's going to go well now. So that may just come for me. Still facing the wrong way. I nearly roll off the edge there. Great. And I get swarmed. Lose the 40,000 souls. And uh, nothing good comes of that. So yeah, that screen showed the Ring of Favour. don't think there's ever been a time when I've actually used it. I think I've survived without it until now. But usually I kill Lotrek whenever, whenever I get the chance. Sometimes I don't bother. Sometimes, like this playthrough, I forget. And uh, sometimes I kick, kick him off the cliff. Okay, so down the shortcut, yet again. And my place recovers quite early. Am I about to have a good idea? I don't know. I'm just staring here trying to figure out how to best take these guys out. Duck in. Get killed. Great. That was a terrible idea. So I'm going to try and try again. No, it's probably probably one of the stupid things I tried trying to lure those guys. There's a much more obvious, easy way to take them out um, that I, I'm going to think of soon. Um, I know that because I've already done this. This is uh, I'm adding this commentary afterwards. Oh, I love the gold tracer. It just looks so cool. I have a long bow. Yes, that is what this plan entails. Using a long bow to draw the enemies off. Uh, my accuracy is not great. So bow's clearly not very powerful. But I've drawn him. And it seems to be working. So I can see that guy from here. Might as well just shoot him there. Hopefully draw him. And here he comes. And uh, managed to draw the other guy as well. That's great. And threw a pointless fireball. Just got to play the waiting game. Ah, oh, backstab. 
Three. That's not great. No, it still kills him. It's good enough. So, let's try and use the bow to take these out. Do some headshots. Do more damage. Pretty terrible accuracy from me, really. So from there they can't hit me with the with the spell, which is great. But my accuracy is terrible, so I can't hit them anyway. So you can hit them in the head, more damage. Yeah, there you go. 38 for body, 35, 29 for body shots. So, taking out one, try and take out the other. So, it's running towards me. Ducks off to the side. You can get pretty close, kill it pretty quick, pretty easily. Not one, much less faffing around. It's just trying to kill one of those without alerting the other one. Otherwise, it's uh, very easy to die very quickly there. So, the uh, chained prisoner, who's got quite insane range on his attacks. Especially moves like that. Are powerful as well. So there we go, got him. Not too bad, not too bad. So now we're going to head down into the chasm of the abyss. Just got to be careful here because there is an enemy on this platform just waiting to kill you. And here we go, we can rest. Right, now I've got to go and try and find the passage to Seif. It's useful because Alvina of the Forest Hunter uh, Covenant shows you the way. Just resting, just trying to find out where you've got to go. Just trying to find a map, actually, because it's uh, been so long since I've been down here. And uh, once you've found Seif, there's no point in really waiting, um, waiting around the area, because there's not much else to do. There's items to find around the area, but... Yeah, I've only been down here once, and that was before the one time I did try to fight Manus. So I know the route specifically down to Manus. But all the other areas around here, I don't know so well. Don't know as well as the route down to Manus. Um, yeah, like I said before, I'm not going to bother taking out Manus. I have no need to. Uh, it's also a frustrating boss fight that I can do without.
So, yeah, still just resting. <laughs> so I forget about all the enemies that are around in this area. Because you've got both the small humanities and big humanity sprites. Um, just around, in general. Then you've got... Oh, I've got to put some in decks, I think. Yeah, level up decks. Level up decks, maybe. See the uh, increase in the weapon strength. Yeah, so there's the um, humanity sprites, the big and the little ones. And then you've also got the... Um, the melee guys that use their arms to attack. And also the um, oh crystal lizard um, the sorcerers cool that will come in handy so I decided to stick to this wall to start with you can see all the red eyes in the background um, clearly I'm playing badly don't know what enemies are around going to get swarmed get hit by that realise that there's a sorcerer nearby give up hope, turn around, get attacked. So the sorcerer made that a lot more difficult because I then need to, needed to shift focus, try and change what I was doing. And again, back to that area, I saw an item, want to see what it was. Can't remember having picked it up before, so... Better go over there. Let's head to where I died because it's probably far enough out to draw some aggro, but not all of it. And then use this area as a place that I can hide behind some cover uh, to protect me from the sorcerer. Draw mage, head forwards. So I'm safe here from that. But I've got to be careful. And um, that's not careful enough. And it's all just about strafing. So heal up and then try and take out this sorcerer and get the item. Oh! They found where I was. Right, I've spotted them. Don't know what move that was they were about to do. But I don't think it's a good one. Dark bead. That's a good move for physical um, physical damage players. Uh, especially strength builds. Um, there's this guy down here. Because killed him every time. Uh, every time I was uh, heading down to Manus. So there's a point nearby where I need to drop off an edge. Uh, should be able to find it pretty quickly. I think oh, it might be down this side. I think actually no, it might be down over here. I realise I know ahead that there's uh, so I'm going to walk out onto this edge, and it gives way, and then we should see Alvina of the Forest Hunter Clan. Awesome. So, I know I'm heading the right way now. See in there, there's big humanity sprites nearby. Just try to avoid them, because they just drain your life fast. So, there's a way through there. This fake wall here. And now we've just got to be careful. Try and take these guys out without taking any damage. Just try and kill the little ones. They still do a hell of a lot of damage. So, I've only got basic spells, so I'm going to use more than one fireball to take them out. Just be cautious, don't get greedy. Switched away too fast, that guy was really close. So, I've got the Covetous, Serpa, uh, Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. Mm, this is a pretty cool place to farm humanity. 
So, let's see. Um, I was concerned um, after this that I hadn't fought alongside him with Manus. Against Manus, sorry. Um, so he might not do the special intro to fight. So I'm just gonna. So I just I went for it anyway because I couldn't be bothered to fight Manus. Manus is massive pain. <laughs> just input wrong so many times. Then can't believe I did it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head straight to Seif going not through the door that you need the crest for. Um, so I don't need those items. Now I'm going to head straight for Seif. I'm going to hope that I can get there, am I? Oh, dog bead. So I'm just going to switch to some stronger spells, hopefully. Yeah, I think you can do better with the Firestorm and Fire Tempest. Okay. So, I think I'm going to head straight down. I think. Uh, might speak to... Nope, not going to speak to him. So I'm going to head straight off, straight to Seath. And go via where the Hydra is. Clearly changing to the um, to the rusted iron ring, so I can just run straight through the water, nice and simply. Ah, combustion, nice and easy. Take him out. So Seif is one of my favourite boss fights. It's um, it's an interesting it's an interesting fight because he's so fast, but he's also so large. I think about going to rest there at the uh, the bonfire in the tunnel, but I decide against it. Um, yeah, I think I th yeah I think the fight's so interesting because he's one of the enemies that reacts to having his HP taken down, especially in the end. Um, but he's also a very interesting character in that he's a wolf. He can clearly use the um use a sword very well. It's interesting that he grows between um the time in the DLC. She believes between two hundred and three hundred years prior to the events that are happening here. However, you've got to consider that in the events that are happening in the game, the, um, the whole thing about things like messages is that the t the flow of time is distorted. But you can also consider the flow of time is distorted. So a lot of undead might be sacrificing themselves, but it could all be happening at the same time. Um, which is an interesting way to think about things. Uh, it's clear I haven't been up here before. There's the item along at the end. Yeah, so you've got to consider that the flow of time is distorted. Um, and while the NPCs might be experiencing things at different times, the death of Gwyn could be a fixed point in time. So the power that's um, gained from the endings... Uh, either linking the fire, um, prolonging the life of the fire, or um, or walking into it, ushering in the age of dark, could ultimately always be happening at the same time. I rolled straight into that. It was a it was a mistake. Um, it's a very interesting, very interesting way to perceive the story. Um, 
yeah, anyway, Thief is one of my favourite favorite boss fights because he's just so fast. And he's just... The moves aren't particularly noticeable to, to pick out what move he's going to do. But it's one of, one of the easiest boss fights to learn, um, especially as a, um, as a pyromancer. It's an easy fight. Uh, I've definitely never had any problems with it. Now I've got the Hornet Ring as well. I can, um, well, once I get the Hornet Ring, sorry, um, I can e- then even boost my damage even further for parrying with the uh, the gold, no, the Dark Silver Tracer um, and the Bandit Knife. Bandit Knife will be interesting. I want to try a few things when I get to go in. Um, however, I'm not sure how they're going to go because I want to see if you can get bleed build up on him. Uh, something I'm going to have to look into actually I could probably find it on a website so I love this in, love this intro with, with uh, C it's clearly clearly recognises the scent of Artorius about here and uh, changes his attitude toward you, towards you like he is guarding something but if you want to take it you can take it from him, but he'll fight you for it. More, more in the sense that it's it's a right. It's something that has to happen. It's it's an event that's fixed. It's like it's almost like he knows what has to happen. So the key to me playing this part is to ensure that I'm underneath him. For a pyromancer and a sorcerer, this is uh, virtually essential. Um, also for a melee player, it's really, it's really the best way to take him out. I don't see any better way of doing it. So I do massive damage to him there. Pretty simply done. He's, uh, I'm massively overpowered for this boss fight. So I know I can take him out pretty easily. I can't be bothered to waste time. He was clearly damaged then. He was going to be limping around. We've got the Covenant of Artorius. That means I can go down to the Four Kings now. Take on that boss fight. I'm going to go grab this, uh, um, the Hornet Ring. And that was me taking, uh, going to unlock the special uh, intro for Seath. And taking out Seath. Uh, this is Destroy Topham. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at Destroy Topham. Thanks for watching. Peace.